long time ago, in the lands of India, there existed the ancient ancestors of the Dravidians. A good place to start when dealing with ancient Dravidian populations of India is the Indus Valley Civilization. The Indus Valley Civilization was a highly advanced cultural complex that sprung up along the banks of the Indus River. The people of Indus practiced agriculture, monumental architecture, and trade. They also developed a script which archaeologists and linguists believe is Dravidian in origin. This would suggest the people of Indus Valley civilization were the probable forebearers of modern Dravidian speakers throughout India today. It was once believed by some Eurocentrics that the Indus Valley civilization belonged to Indo-European speakers from the Eurasian steppes. We know that this is not the case. Ancient DNA extracted from the remains of one Indus Valley woman have shown that the people were a mixture between two hunter-gatherer groups. One of the groups was genetically similar to the indigenous people of the Andaman Islands, as well as other similar dark-skinned populations scattered throughout Southeast Asia today. The other group was a genetic offshoot of hunter-gatherers from regions in modern-day Iran, who did not have ancestry from Anatolia or from Eurasian steppe pastoralists. The ancient union of these two hunter-gatherer groups gave rise to the highly advanced Dravidian civilization of the Indus Valley. Some linguists have suggested the Dravidian language shared a common ancestor with the ancient Elamite language of Elam. This theory is not too far-fetched, considering the early Iranian hunter-gatherer DNA observed in the Indus Valley remains. Present-day Dravidian speakers can be traced back to the ancient populations of the Indus Valley civilization. When Indo-European speakers did arrive in South Asia, some 3400 years ago, some of the population of the Indus Valley stayed and mixed with the migratory pastoralists from the Eurasian steppes. However, some of the population migrated away from the Indus Valley at this time, perhaps to avoid conflict with the new Indo-European arrivals. The population that evacuated the Indus Valley moved deeper into Central and South India, mixing with hunter-gatherer groups already living in the region. This group became what is known as the Ancestral South Indian Population. The segment of the population that stayed put around the Indus Valley and absorbed the new coming Indo-European speakers became what is known as the Ancestral North Indian Population. Both Ancestral South Indian and Ancestral North Indian descend from the Indus Valley population. However, Ancestral South Indian is genetically and linguistically more similar to the Indus Valley ancestors. It is important to note that all Indians alive today are essentially a mixture of both Ancestral South and Ancestral North Indian. Naturally, people in the south of India tend to have more of the former while those in the north tend to have more of the latter. What do you guys think of these discoveries concerning the ancient population of the Indus Valley civilization? If you're watching this video from India, do you think you're primarily composed of ancestral South Indian or ancestral North Indian? Go ahead and comment below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you're into this sort of content, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for stopping by Anton's class.